Hey, it's Dusty Showers from Creepy Creatures, and I'm up here way up on a roof. This is like a really, really, really tall and fun roof. And of course, I'm checking out rats, because that's what I normally do. So this is a tile roof, and uh, I'm not sure if that's the problem here yet, but what happens is rats get underneath these tiles, and so they can get underneath the tiles, and then once they do that, they travel, and they travel underneath the tile until they can chew a hole in the plywood, and then at that point, they can duck into the attic. It can be almost impossible to figure out how they're getting in, because really what you need to do is take off the whole tile roof and look for holes in the plywood, and that's just not practical. This house that I'm at is a, uh, it's quite a big house and there's a lot of potential openings where rats could get in, but what I want to do is find exactly where they're getting in. So where most people will come in automatically set traps, what we want to do first is figure out how they're getting in. We don't do that by setting traps right now, we do that by marking the holes. So I'm going to take the two obvious openings, one's on the other side of the house and the other one is right here. And you can see, it's as simple as just putting a garbage bag up there. What I do is put that garbage bag in that hole, come back a day or two later and see if that's been disturbed. If we go ahead and we set traps now inside the house, we can catch rats, but that won't tell us how they're getting into the house. And in order to have a long-term solution, we need to know how they're getting into the house. So we mark the hole, we check that. If that's the active spot, then we can set traps. If those two areas haven't been touched, that means I'm missing something. And with a house like this, see this is a great example where they get in in these gaps. And then once they get in there, then they travel underneath the tile until they find a hole in the plywood or they make a hole in the tile. And again, you just can't see that. So, um, so make sure that you mark the holes, figure out where all the activity is first, because that's more important than catching the rats. And sometimes it's hard to convince people of that, but that's more important. So the two biggest, uh, two most common questions we ask is uh, when you have rats is, do you have a tile roof and do you have a crawl space? Because both of those are gonna add additional challenges to any rat problem. So uh, check out creepycreatures.net and always be kind to possums and pit bulls. Sit possum, sit. Good possum. <laughs>